Oh my gosh, you guys, I have the weirdest grouping of things to talk about today for my monthly favorites video for the month of July. Falls right around the corner. We've got food, hair care, perfume, body care, shoes, makeup, sunscreen, a book. Like, it's a weird mix. I don't know what order we're gonna go in. And I had the gall to wear a white dress today, and I've had it for a couple years. I got it at like a cute little local store. As I put it on, I saw, oh, there's like already a clearly a coffee stain on this dress. And I vaguely remember a few years ago doing that and I couldn't get it out, but I was like, well, I don't wanna get rid of the dress. Well, sure enough, you better believe I've already spilled more coffee in two more places on this dress. So I need to find like a real solution. So if you have any stain removing tips and tricks, please let me know. We're drinking something clear right now just to be safe. Also, if you are new here, hi, my name's Jessica. I'm glad that you're here. I do these monthly like favorite videos, just a roundup of things I've been loving. It used to be all makeup. Now it's turned into just whatever in the world I'm loving. I like to share with you guys. So that's what we're doing today. I do have a playlist if you wanna watch more of these down below. So let's start with makeup because I know a lot of you guys are into makeup the way I am. This palette, I have not like truly bought new eyeshadow palettes in a while. And this was one that caught my eye recently and I'm so glad that I bought it. It's from Tarte and it's their Tartlet Juicy Palette. It's got all of these really pretty like pink tones. It has enough like kind of medium matte shades to mix into the crease that I feel like this is a super wearable palette. If you're like me and I don't like a lot of drama on my eyes, I just like nice washes of different colors. This is perfect for that. I feel like the shimmers are really pretty. They're not super overpowering. They add that really nice like kind of look to the eye that again, looks slightly shimmery, but it's not like in your face. So if you're like me, you like the kind of medium shadow where it's not too much of any one thing. I think you'd really like it. And the whole palette smells so lovely. It's like a really sweet, vanilla cupcake and I, I think the packaging is beautiful. I love that it's got a big giant mirror. I, it's just, it's a really nice palette and it looks really cute in my makeup bag too, just saying. All right, another makeup item you might not be surprised about if you've watched a few more of my videos. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. <laughs> so many of you guys are like, Jessica, that is not new. Have you been living under a rock? And I'm like, I guess so because I had not really heard about it. I thought I'd heard like little titterings here and there. Don't think tittering is a word. <laughs> Twittering? No, no, no. <laughs> this is amazing. I've always felt that a lot of the like colored brow type products like this on a spoolie, that a lot of them have so much pigment to them that the second it touches your brow, it's just too much and it's hard to blend it in. This is the perfect amount of color that it deposits. Like it is so hard to screw this up. And that's why I'm just like, oh my gosh, I am a convert. I loved the Benefit Gimme Brow all really the whole beginning of this year. And I have not reached for it since I tried this because that one is amazing. It deposits just a little bit more color than this one does and I prefer this. So if you're near my like brow color, I have the shade Neutral Brown. It is perfect. I am sold. I'll be repurchasing this one over and over again. I'm so glad I discovered it. And of course it's like six bucks, which is awesome. Another newer product is so easy to use and it makes such a difference in the way my skin looks. It's the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. This is a cream style highlighter, but it's not a highlighter in like the traditional sense. It really makes your skin look more glossy than it does shimmery. And I feel like that is kind of the distinction between when I know I, I use this example all the time and it's such a weird example. When you see a picture of a supermodel like walking out of a grocery store and you know, she's just like en route and she's got big old glasses on, her skin always looks perfectly glowy. I feel like this is the kind of product that gives you that look. Anyway, I just think this is beautiful. I just take a little bit on my finger. I tap it in the areas I want it. I'll put it on my brow bone as well. It blends in so quickly. You really can't screw it up. Favorite products of mine are usually ones that are easy to use that even a beginner could do it. Like it doesn't matter what your status is when it comes to makeup knowledge. I'm filming later than I normally do and I feel like it's showing. I'm just like, Losing my train of thought like it's really going downhill quickly. <laughs> okay, this is something that I dragged my feet on for years and I remember my dermatologist telling me about this brand years ago and I was like, yeah, 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 but I was trying other things. I finally bought it because I heard Angie from Hot and Flashy talking about it 
and I was like, that sounds exactly like what I want. So it's from Elta MD and it is the UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. So it's a physical sunscreen. It has hyaluronic acid, transparent zinc oxide, UVA, UVB prote protection, and it's oil free. This has this slight tint that when I put it on my skin, I want you to watch me applying this. When I put this on my skin, it perfects it. Like I, once I discovered this a few weeks ago, have been wearing just this as I've run errands more often than I have like actually putting on a BB cream or something else because I feel like my skin looks so nice with it. It, it covers up just a little bit of the imperfections. It's obviously giving me the sun protection. That's why I'm putting it on. It is beautiful absolutely beautiful. It blends in in like two seconds. There's of course no white cast because it is tinted. I know I talk about a lot of facial SPFs here. I've done an entire video on a bunch of them if you want to see some comparisons. And certainly I love a lot that are at a way lower price point because this is expensive. This next thing, I need you to stay with me here, is going to bring you back to the late 90s if you're around my age. I'm 32 to like the late 90s, even early 2000s when you were wearing love spell that smell from victoria's secret right and it's like fruity and juicy and kind of sweet and it, and it was a smell that like everyone wore and when you would smell someone wearing it you knew exactly what it was well have i got a treat for you i just discovered this tree hut scrub and i love the tree hut scrubs but this particular one it's called exotic bloom and <laughs> Oh, I wish, I wish you guys could smell this through the screen. Oh, it smells so much like it. It's not exact, but so much like that. I ordered this online like sight unseen, smell unsmelled. I'm so glad I did. I don't even know why. I think I just liked the color and the look of it. So I was like, eh, I'll give it a try. This is the best smelling one I've ever, ever used. It's just incredible. And in the shower, when you're using it, you are transported. All of their scrubs, I feel like are incredible. Another favorite of theirs I've mentioned before is their vitamin C scrub. It's got AHAs in it. So if you have like the red bumps, like keratosis pilaris, that stuff is incredible for that. I wish I had a candle that smelled like that, you know? All right, random fave, these shoes. I bought these on a whim and they were kind of an investment sandal, but I was like, I want a pair of sandals that are like my go-to ones that I can throw on, I can travel with, and I know that I could wear them for an entire day of walking and still feel comfortable in them. You know what I mean? And then these walked into my life. They're from the brand Tom's. They're around like $69. I saw some of the sizes were like on clearance on some sites. So definitely do some digging. They have a bunch of different colors. They have some animal print patterns as well. These are so comfortable. There is no break in period. I am notorious for having, I guess the worst shaped feet because everything hurts my feet. These don't. They just contour everything so perfectly. But on top of that, I just feel like they're a really simple, cute pattern that don't necessarily go out of style. You know what I mean? It's kind of a basic sandal look. It looks good with dresses. It looks cute with shorts. It's just perfect. I wear typically a seven and a half or an eight with sandals. A lot of times I'll go up that half size to eight and I got these in eight wide. So if you do have slightly wider feet, definitely go for the wide option. They're not going to be like overly wide, but they're definitely nice and roomy. By the way, what I'm wearing, I pulled out a lipstick I haven't worn in so long. It's from Milk Makeup and it's their lipstick in Hype. And it's such a pretty like pinky purple color. I just like it. Okay, hair favorite I've been using for actually months now and I bought another one. Let me get the other one too. So I have the old packaging and the new packaging of this. It's from the brand Ava NYC and it's their Satin Dream Smoothing Leave-In Cream. I lovingly call it the dream cream because I can never remember what it's called. So the can here is made from recycled aluminum and it's 100% recyclable. So that's pretty cool. So the way I use this kind of in my hair routine is I wash my hair like three times a week, pretty much every other day. When I get out of the shower with my wet hair, I'll spray it with like a detangling spray, brush through it with a wet brush. I'll get like a quarter size amount of this, rub it between my hands and just run it through my hair really just focusing from like here down. I avoid the scalp. I tend to get really oily in my scalp pretty quickly. This A smells beautiful, but B, I actually said B. I always say A and then I never, <laughs> I never get to B. B, my hair feels so silky smooth. I feel like as I blow dry it, it stays smooth. It really helps with the frizz, but it's not overly going to weigh down your hair. My hair can tend to get really flat really quickly unless I'm wearing it like naturally curly. So absolutely love it. Ava NYC is not wildly priced. It's not like the cheapest thing in the world, but it's also not nearly as expensive as like other hair care out there. So I want to talk about this perfume. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Days perfume. 
I wasn't gonna mention it, but it's limited edition. So assuming it's still available now, I wanted to because I have a feeling if I ever wanted to mention this like next year, you wouldn't be able to get it. I don't know that for sure, but it's just an inkling I have. I've smelled so many of the Marc Jacobs like Daisy perfumes and I've never really liked any of them. They're just like, I'd be like, oh, it's okay, but it's not really right for me. There is something about this one that there's a slight sweet, but still fresh twist to it that is just so intoxicating to me. And it's the one I've been reaching for like crazy. I don't think I've ever gone through this much perfume in just the matter of a few months as I have with this. I wear it every single day. So I'll put the notes on the screen here because I don't obviously don't know them off the top of my head. But like I said, it's just such a fresh, pretty feminine scent. It's not overly floral. I'm not big on super florally scents. It's not musky. It's just mm, perfect. And also, of course, it is so freaking cute too. So I discovered a new pillow that is totally, and I really mean this, totally fixed my issues with a sore neck and shoulders. I was suffering for years, you guys. And I'd gone to a chiropractor and it would help and stuff. It wasn't the permanent fix I needed. And so I kept, I looked into and tried a lot of different pillows. And there was one from like yoga pillows or whatever it's called that actually was pretty good and it helped so much, but it still wasn't perfect. So I'd heard a YouTuber I love mention this particular pillow on Amazon. The channel is our Z roll. They do like vlog style videos. I love them. They're such a cute little family, but they mention in like a favorites video, this pillow. And she said that it just totally like fixed her issue. She even like travels with it when she can, because it's that much of a game changer. So I was like, yes, please sign me up. So I bought it the first, and I'm not, I'm getting the goosebumps because I cannot, I can't believe it took me this long to discover this pillow. Jessica, calm down. When I say that that first morning after sleeping with it, I woke up with no pain in my neck and shoulders. That, I mean, it was, out, it was outrageous. I literally woke up, turned to Tyler, and normally when I would like kind of turn, my neck would be like, I'd be like, ah. Oh. I literally just turned to him and I was like, I guess my problem is fixed. And so of course I'm like, well, let me see over the course of like weeks. So now it's probably been a month and a half of using it. I love it. It is unique because if you look at it, it feels weird. The first time you lay on it, you're like, no, this can't be right. It feels like it's too, it's too high up on my neck and too low on my head. But it, at least for me, must be lining everything up so perfectly that even when I turn, I sleep on my side, I sleep on my back, I sleep on my stomach. I do it all, baby. And that pillow works for me in every single position. So it's one of those things that if you've never tried one like this, where it's lower in the middle and then kind of raised up around the edge, even though it seems weird, and even if the first time you lay on it, you're gonna be like, no, this isn't right, give it a try. Because I think you might be surprised. I am so thankful that I bought it and just gave it a try because I am transformed. I really should leave an Amazon review. Right. Food favorite. <laughs> I mentioned this in a vlog. This is the Supreme Brie Bites. They can be hard to find. If you have a Meyer near you, you'll be able to find these not in the normal like cheese section where cheese slices are, but over near like the deli and the produce. It's like not far from hummus. It's not far from, you know what I mean? That kind of area. I'm gonna eat one right now, y'all, because they are so good. If you like brie where, you know, it's kind of a softer cheese, but it's not overly like sour. Do you know what I mean? They're so good. So I like to typically like take a bite and eat a cracker, take a bite and eat a cracker. And it's like the best combo, but I also will just eat these alone and they're so good. Mm, so soft in the middle, you guys, oh my gosh. But the best part is they're pasteurized. So they're like super safe. If you're someone that's a little weird with cheese or maybe like, I know if you're pregnant, you're not supposed to eat unpasteurized cheese. These are pasteurized as far as I could tell. It says pasteurized cultured milk and cream. So they're safe when it comes to that too, if that like freaks you out. So good, my husband loves them, I love them. Every time we run out, we instantly add it to the grocery list. Like, well, we gotta get them again, obviously. But it's got 70 calories, four grams of protein. It's got calcium, of course. So I have a fail and I'm really bummed about it because it's so pretty. It's this Olay Cleansing and Nourishing Body Wash. I wanted to try a new one. I love my Aveeno one that, I can never think of the exact name, but it's like, awesome if you've got itchier skin, drier skin. I have all of those issues. I never suffer from like itchy legs like I normally do when I'm using that Aveeno body wash. But I was like, I just wanna try something new because that's like what I do. So I was giving this a try. It lathers up amazingly. It smells pretty nice. And they have a bunch of different ones in this line. This is, I just liked the pink if I'm being honest. That's totally why I bought it. But it says it's got hyaluronic acid in it, B3. It supports skin's natural pH. It replenishes the moisture barrier. And it's supposed to be for dry, thirsty skin. Thirsty. I hated it. It made my skin feel even drier. And not only that, 
my itchy legs came back and I didn't change anything else. I kept thinking like, did I change my moisturizer? Did I, and I didn't, it really was just this. That Aveeno one is just the bomb. So I'll continue trying body washes over the years cause I like trying new stuff, but I always go back to that one for a reason. So it's just worth knowing. I don't think it's like horrendous. And if you don't have dry or itchy skin, this might not bother you at all. You might really like it, but for me, it just, it just didn't work. So. so I wanna talk about a book and it's called Modern Romance. It's been out for like a while. We read it because our best friend was just raving about it and he's mad because on Goodreads, I, I out of five stars, I ranked it three stars. And I really, I probably should have done it four stars because I really, the more I've thought about the book, the more I'm like, gosh, that really was so interesting, but it made him so upset that now I'm like, no, I've got to leave it at three stars. It's too funny because he loved it so much. Okay, but basically Aziz Ansari did like all this research into dating and how it's changed from, you know, a hundred years ago versus what it was when he wrote the book, like, you know, I don't know, six or seven years ago. It is so interesting to hear about, like a lot of it's stuff you know, like he'll talk about online dating and then, you know, apps like Tinder and stuff. He also goes into a lot of just different surveys and interviews he's done with both people today people that live in cities versus like in you know states like where I live Indiana versus other countries and like certain things I never knew about dating in other countries like they're it just so it's so incredibly interesting so even though I only rated it three stars really it was more like three and a half in my mind it was really interesting if that's something that as you're listening to me talk about it kind of piques your interest we ended up listening to it and it was him as he's sorry reading it and so it was extra funny that way too so it's not totally kid friendly though so if you're like listening to it with kids something to be aware of but very, very interesting book. I think that's everything. I love, love, love doing these videos every month. I hope you enjoyed them too. Like I said earlier, if you wanna watch some of my other monthly favorites and fails videos, I'll link my playlist. You can binge right through them. I've got them in order from most recent and then you just kinda of go back in time. So it'll be all different stuff, but I love you all. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around for more videos. If you did not catch my most recent upload, it was a drugstore dupes video. I've got some of my best dupes and most of them are products that are just better than the high-end version and i'll see you guys in my next one bye